Hi, the circus is coming to town. Today we're going to be designing our own amazing circus poster, like this one. Yep, we're going to be thinking about graphic design, we're going to be thinking about drawing a special element of the circus, something that we really like, an act or an animal. It's just going to be a bit of fun. You can even be the circus yourself. Or you could use this as a way of advertising in a circus in your own house. Invite your parents. So let's get going looking at some circus posters. So I'm going to show you some posters. Now these are some very old fashioned ones. This one's complicated and it's got lots of stuff going on. You can see a horse rider, a clown, some stuff in the background and the tent. This one is just a great nice big one of the elephant. And as posters get more modern, they get simpler. So I'm going to show you some modern ones, but this is one of my favourites. And I like it because it's what I always wanted to be, the lady who rode around the ring standing on a horse. So you could get someone in your, in your house to pose for this because you've got an arm in the air, a leg out. You might need someone to be an acrobat. And here's some other posters that are just very beautiful. And now when we're thinking about a poster, we're thinking about our design. So we're thinking about where are we going to put the lettering? What's it going to say? This one is very, very, very old fashioned and amazing. And these are the little butterflies, black and white. I don't know what their act was. Perhaps they were acrobats. And here is a more modern one. And this is one for something called Gifford's Circus, which I've actually been to. And it's a very long poster and it's a photograph. And you can see that this is some kind of fortune teller. So that's something else that you can do. Now we're going to look at some very, very um, stylized posters and then we're going to get to work. So these are some European circus posters and you can see that the background is one colour and they're very simplified. This is almost like a children's book illustration, this line. And this one, now I wanted to show you this because it's a clown and it's very, it's very simplified, isn't it? It doesn't look realistic. You can see it's a design, but you can see that he's looked at someone from the side, this artist, and, and he's thought about where the ear goes and where the nose goes. So maybe when you're drawing it, you need to look at something to get your design. So perhaps it's a horse circus. You know, it can be any kind of circus because it's an imagination circus. I'm going to get some animals out now to look at so that I have a few ideas. I couldn't quite decide what to have in my circus, so I got some um, animals out of the toy box. And I put um, my elephant and I've got my horse. And I'm going to think about, I think this horse, I like it because it's, it's running along. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and very quickly just draw the horse. And I think I'm just going to, I'm going to use this plastic horse to give me a bit of, to remind me, because I'm not that great at drawing horses, what horse looks like, that pen's not working. So I'm going to use this one, this pen will work, yes. And I'm going to draw the horse and it's going to be, I think this is going to be a trick pony. And I'm going to have his little ears like this and maybe put a star on his forehead, like that, put my hand out. So this is my horse and I'm going to make him part of the design. And I'm going to also put, like, I think I'm going to put this little leg in here and this, it's a good way of reminding yourself how an animal fits together if you look at a model animal. So here's my little horse and I want him to and I'm going to make a name for him. I'm going to call him Amazing Miniature Pony and I'm going to think about this. Now what I'm going to do is I think I might cut this out this horse and I put it on a red background. I also might cut my lettering out because I don't feel like painting today. So I'm going to get some colored paper and I'm going to cut my horse out and I'm going to cut the lettering out and um, then I'm going to get going. Or I could have used an elephant. Now, I've got an elephant here, and I was thinking, if I did an elephant, I've got another sheet of paper here, and I've started drawing on it. I'm going to look at elephant. I'm going to put the word circus up here, and then my elephant, I'm going to look at the elephant, I'm going to look at his ear, look at the way his head comes down, and I'm going to give him a friend, a friend that is a little bird, like this. And... I'm going to colour them in very simply. I'm going to make them just one colour and I'm going to make it a very graphic poster, this one. And an upper head is going to say circus across there. So I'm going to do two designs and then maybe I might put the date of the circus. Might be today's, don't I? So I can remember it when I put this up on the wall, what I did today. So I'm going to go and get my glue stick and my paper and then I'm going to um, put my poster together. So here's my poster. I haven't finished it yet. I've cut out my elephant like this, uh, just the head I thought. And I'm gonna make the lettering now. Now you can, you could paint this, you could draw it in pencil and then carefully paint in all the separate elements. I'm gonna do it as a sort of collage, collaging all the bits together. 
obviously it's going to take ages to cut this out so I'm just going to cut one out. If you collage the bits together you can really be a graphic designer, you can move the bits around and decide where you want everything to go. So probably I'm going to have the writing at the top like this but um, I might, hang on, I might have it at the bottom, I might have the elephant up here like this and the circus underneath. So move the elements around, it's quite fun actually and um, have a look back through at the pictures that I showed you before because those are some really good posters and uh, try and really enjoy yourself think about actually going to the circus think about how exciting it is and what you enjoyed and just really 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 put lots into this and also don't forget give yourself a round of applause when you've finished because you've worked hard have a great day